Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to study our last shortcut method of finding particular integral in which the right hand side function is product of variable x and the function of x. And we are also going to solve the examples. So let us see this case. Suppose the given non-homogeneous differential equation is phi of d of y is equal to f of x and this f of x is the function x into v where v is a function of x. Hence yp will be given by 1 upon phi of d of x into v. In the beginning we are going to consider u as a function of x. Hence consider the derivative of x into u. Apply the product rule that will give us x into d of u plus u. Now we will take u common to the right hand side that will give us expression as xd plus 1 of u. We evaluate now second order derivative. Consider d square of xu which is equal to d of d of xu and d of xu is x into du plus u. Now operate this operator separately on first and the second term that will give us d of x in x into d of u plus d of u. Simplify this term, apply the product rule of derivative that will give us x into d square of u plus derivative of x is 1. So we left with du plus d of u is du. Now add the last two terms that will give us x d square plus 2d and take u common to the right hand side. Now observe the first expression and the second expression. From that we can generalize this result as d raised to n of x u is equal to x into d raised to n plus n into d raised to n minus 1 of u. And hence we generalize it in terms of phi function. So therefore it will be phi of d of x u is equal to x into phi of d of u plus phi dash of d of u. We call this as 1. Now we want to obtain yp in terms of v. Therefore now we will make substitution for this phi of d of u as capital V. Therefore to get the u we operate 1 upon phi of d on both the sides that will give us u as 1 upon phi of d of v. Now in the expression 1 replace u by 1 upon phi of d of v. It becomes phi of d of x into 1 upon phi of d of v plus x into phi of d replace u by 1 upon phi of d of v plus phi dash of d into 1 upon phi of d of v. Now this phi of d phi of d will get cancelled and we left with the expression phi of d of x into 1 upon phi of d of v is equal to xv plus phi dash of d into 1 upon phi of d of v. Now we want to obtain 1 upon phi of d of x into v. For that purpose we will operate the operator 1 upon phi of d throughout this expression that will give us expression like this 1 upon phi of d of phi of d of x into 1 upon phi of d of v is equal to 1 upon phi of d of x into v plus phi dash of d upon phi of d into 1 upon phi of d of v. Now this phi of d phi of d will get cancelled and we left with this expression. So we have just cancelled phi of d from the left hand side. So we left with this expression. Now we will write down the expression for 1 upon phi of d of x into v for which we will take this term second term on the right hand side to the left hand side. So therefore our expression it becomes now 1 upon phi of d of x v is equal to x into 1 upon phi of d of v minus phi dash of d upon phi of d 
into 1 upon 5 of d of v. Now this 1 upon 5 of d of v is common in both the terms. So we will take it common to the right hand side. Therefore, we will be getting expression like this. 1 upon 5 of d of x into v is equal to x minus phi dash of d upon phi of d into 1 upon phi of d of v. So which is the required formula for obtaining particular integral of the function function of the type x into v where this v is a function of x. So this is the required rule. But this rule is applicable only if so see in the remarks what are the conditions. This rule is used only if first in f of x equal to xv power of x must be 1. Okay, then and only then we can apply this rule and second condition is whatever term here we are observing 1 upon 5 of d of v it must be a case of non-failure. So that case must not be failure. Okay, means for example if we consider differential equation d square plus 1 of y is equal to x into sin x. Here first condition got satisfied that power of x is 1 but we have to check whether 1 upon 5 of d of v is case of failure or not. So consider that thing 1 upon d square plus 1 sin x as sin x is trigonometric function and the coefficient of x is 1. So we replace d square by minus 1. So minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So as we got 0 in the denominator which is a case of failure. So for this example we cannot apply this fifth rule. So we have to solve this example using another method, one of the another methods. So these are the conditions that we have to check before applying this fifth rule. Okay, now we will try to solve the example based on this. So let us go to example. Solve the differential equation d square plus 4 of y is equal to x into cos x. So here power of x is 1 and cos x uh, uh, coefficient of x is 1 in the trigonometric cosine function and if we replace d square by minus 1 so it is minus 1 plus 4 which is 3 hence we will be getting denominator in 1 upon 5 of d as non-zero denominator only. So yes we can apply this rule. So solution auxiliary equation is d square plus 4 equal to 0 hence roots are plus minus 2i i2 which are the complex roots with real part equal to 0 hence complementary function is yc is equal to c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x. Now we will try to obtain particular integral. So yp is equal to 1 upon 5 of d of f of x phi of d is d square plus 4 and f of x is x into cos x. So already uh, we have seen that the this uh, fifth rule is applicable. So therefore this expression can be written as x minus phi dash of d. So derivative of d square plus 4 is 2d divided by d phi of d which is d square plus 4 into 1 upon phi of d which is 1 upon d square plus 4 into v which is cos x in this case. Now we will evaluate first firstly this outside term. So as it is a trigonometric function we will replace d square by minus 1 square which is minus 1. So therefore outside term it becomes 1 upon minus 1 plus 4 into cos x. Now multiply by this term inside the bracket that will give us. So we have taken 1 by 3 outside. So x into cos x minus 2d divided by d square plus 4 into cos x. We have to simplify this second term only because there is no operator d left in the first term. Hence we will simplify only the second term. First we operate 1 upon d square plus 4 operator on the cos x function. So that will give us, so it is up to us whether to apply the d first or the 1 upon d square plus 4 first. So here we are going to apply 1 upon d square plus 4 first on the cos x function. Hence again we replace as d 
this cos x is trigonometric function again we replace d square by minus 1 which give which will gives us yp equal to 1 upon 3 x into cos x minus 2d divided by minus 1 plus 4 into cos x simplify it hence yp will be 1 upon 3 x into cos x minus 2d divided by 4 minus 1 is 3 cos x now just evaluate the derivative of cos x which is minus sin x so minus minus plus which is our required yp so yp is equal to 1 upon 3 x into cos x plus 2 by 3 into sin x therefore general solution is y is equal to yc plus yp replace these yc and yp by their corresponding expressions hence y is equal to c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x plus 1 by 3 x into cos x plus 2 by 3 into sin x so which is the required general solution i hope you have understood this method thanks for watching this video